I'm going to uh, begin, actually, with a question for you, William. I'm just wondering uh, what it was about this Leskov novel that kind of appealed to you as a filmmaker and storyteller. I think it was probably the central character of Catherine. I mean, I hadn't seen anyone like her uh, in the books that I'd read, in the plays that I'd read and directed on stage before I made my first film. And I thought that, you know, like unlike so many women I had read before who actually sort of um, went through similar sort of excruciating experiences and oppression, Catherine was the first one I read who fought back and, you know, and brilliantly and really compellingly, and that was really what... Um, drove me to actually want to make this film. Mm. I mean, Florence, you must be so sort of thankful for this for opportunity of this nature, because I guess at this early stage in your kind of career, you're reliant on good roles coming your way, and I mean, you couldn't get a more kind of nuanced, more kind of multi-layered role than this. Well, I think that's a sad thing. Not many roles like this come about. I don't really get Catherine's in my inbox, um, and that's been a really wonderful thing after doing this film, that Catherine has set the bar pretty high for the characters that I aim to play. Um, and characters that I'm inspired by, that I, I'm really interested in playing, um, and she did exactly that. But I guess conversely, then, it means that maybe, you know, because you know, you've kind of been um, stimulated so much by this role, is it going to kind of make it more, like you said, that bar's kind of higher now? You, I guess you've made it harder now to Well, find I don't see why it shouldn't be higher. I think what, you know, the fact that I, sh I didn't expect a character like this to come around is quite worrying. Like, why, why can't actresses as young as I, when I got it, when I was 19, be able to play a role like this? And of course, I'm so you know, appreciative that I, I was given the opportunity to. Um, and as a result, m more interesting scripts are coming in and, and I, I do get to uh, be excited by, by more young female leads. Um, and that's a great thing. Because, I, I mean, she's obviously there's some quite dark places you have to go to mm. in your mind with this role. I mean, was she quite an easy character to just switch off, off at the end of the sort of day when you kind of went home or went back to the hotel to kind of become Florence again? Was that quite a challenge? Yeah, no, I, do, I don't, I didn't find it hard to come back to me. I don't believe that she is a twisted character. Even though she does twisted things, I don't believe that in her there is, you know, bad bones. I think she's put in situations which she reacts to. And, and that's basically the summarization of the film. Um, she's treated pretty poorly and then she rebels. Uh, I don't think she's skewed in any way. She goes too far, <laughs> but I don't think she's evil. But do you have to find a kind of empathy and like a character to, in order to uh, sort of embody them, do you think? Yeah, of course. And I knew that that's, that's where the audience need to feel it too. They need to be as involved with her story as she is. They need to love her, they need to care her and care for her, and they need to root for her. And, you know, the only place that you can put that is at the beginning of the film, where we really see her vulnerability and we see how young and bare she is. Um, and that is the bit that really interested me about this character. We see two different type of people and we see the evolution of her. So, I mean, there were some really tough scenes for audience members to sit down sort of, and, and watch. But, I mean, obviously, you know this project incredibly well. How, you, what was it like when you guys watched this, this film back? Are you able to get kind of caught up in those moments or is it almost difficult because obviously you're kind of so heavily involved in the project? I think I spent about 60% of watching the film with my hands over my face. <laughs> <laughs> All aspects, not just because I was scared. <laughs> um, yeah, it's difficult. Watching your own work, I think, well, for me, will always be difficult because I'm looking at things that no one else is looking at. Um, I, I can appreciate it better after a break because obviously we're so close to the material when you're actually editing it, when you're shooting it, when you're editing it. That's why you really rely on those collaborators that you brought together so the editor is important, the producer coming into the room with fresh eyes after several weeks and then showing it to the execs at several screenings so actually they can then look at it from a distance and say yeah that works or it doesn't and actually I've, I've enjoyed the film as we've taken it on this tour when I've had a couple of weeks away from it because I can see it afresh and also with a different audience because they all respond differently to the film. So. Yeah. Yeah, it must be one of the cool things about it. This obviously did the sort of festival circuit. Yeah. To find out how different audiences around the world mm. react must be quite interesting. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's the best thing about it, I think, that you actually get to see an audience. I mean, I'll never, ever forget the premiere in Toronto. Very appreciative audience who really wanted you to know that they were there to enjoy and support your film. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a film festival, so they're film lovers, but they... <clears throat> we were nervous. I, mean, I, I look back on it now and I think, God, well, why wasn't I more nervous about this? Is the first time we've actually taken the film into the world and no one's seen this. We had no test screenings at all. And we put it out there and thankfully they responded well. So, so how much changes when taking this tale from Russia to England? Not just the, in terms of just obviously the setting, but the characters, the narrative. I mean, I guess, are there any kind of quite subtle kind of changes that derive from that change of setting? 
Um, well, really, the the key thing we wanted to keep was the sense of isolation for Catherine, because in the Russian book, you know, she can't really escape, which is useful to uh, to sort of um, compound her situation. So, by going to Northumberland in eighteen sixty five, we felt there was a similar sort of isolation there, which was going to be useful. Um, it also was quite wild, and that was very important in terms of how that tied in with her character. So you had her in prison, then when she went outside, it was her true nature was there. Of course, I'll be off what you were just mentioning about how it's a shame that roles like this don't come around too often, but it's a real joy when they do. And William, as a sort of filmmaker, it must be fantastic for you as well to, to get your teeth into a character like Yeah, this. I mean, it's great. It's really fantastic. It means that when you're actually making the film, because she's at the heart of it, you aren't really worried about where you're meant to be looking because you've got this great character. You want to follow her story. It's told from her point of view. She's compelling, she's original, she's dynamic. And then when Florence sort of brings her to life, you know, she was good on the page, <coughs> but it takes remarkable talent to actually make her live and breathe. And that was, was just a, a joy every day. Yeah, I don't mean to make you, you blush, Florence, but this is obviously, this happens when you get paid interviews. But um, I was just wondering, I mean, so many fantastic reviews are coming in for this and so much of the focus has been on how brilliant the lead and central performance is. I mean, how, what does Florence bring to this character? Well, I mean, I, I mean, it's funny, because I, I can't really separate them out. So actually, you, know, you talk about how lucky she was to get this role, but actually we were lucky to have Florence playing the part. Like I, the, for me as a director, I feel like my job is to help an actor to understand what the writer's intentions were when writing this part. Um, and so Florence took to this really quickly in terms of understanding who Catherine was. But, and actually, that's because Alice wrote her so clearly on the page. But the two things go hand in hand. You know, I can't think of Catherine now without thinking of Florence playing that part. Really, I mean, that's the, was the, the great joy. And you've done work on, with, on stage before as well, because, I mean, how, how much did you kind of draw from that in this project? Because, I mean, it's quite sort of self-contained in that. There's not too many characters, quite not a single setting, but it's predominantly in one setting. Did you find yourself kind of taking back some of the kind of old techniques that you, you had when you were directing plays? Yeah, I mean, I think that um, I was very careful not to make it feel like it was filmed theatre. There's a danger if you're in one location that it can end up, you just, you just rehearse it like a play and then you put the camera somewhere and hope that it gets generally just covers you know the action but I was really clear that we made it cinematic and that's about camera position and so on um, but you know rehearsal was important shooting it in scene order was important as well which are two things I would have done if I was doing a play I think it helped the actors to sort of find their story through the the film by going in the order of the scenes and just very, very quickly before I go, uh, Fighting With My Family is coming mm -hmm. next with you. I just have yes. to ask because it's got The Rock in it and it's directed by Stephen Merchant, which is yes. just two wonderful things. Yeah. Um, how important is it, do you think, as well, to, to try new genres and keep sort of, I don't know, showing off your range as an actress at this stage? Yeah, totally. For me, uh, I really love it when a character terrifies me, as in the, the sheer, sheer size of the character terrifies me. And uh, both of these projects did, both Fighting With My Family and both Lady Macbeth the characters have amazed me and really got me scared to get going. And that's such an awesome feeling when you then get it right. Fighting with my family was an epic shoot. It was so much fun. And I now know how to wrestle, so that's fab. <laughs> so watch out. So watch out. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for your time. Thank, thank you very you. much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.